Stephen Piscotti is a uh, is well known to um, a lot of St. Louis Cardinals fans. A young, good baseball player, good hitter, high quality hitter, traded to the A's in the offseason. Now, why would the and if you haven't heard this story and you you know this story, you're about to hear it again, and it's a great story uh, to be told because it 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 is a um, certainly for for Mother's Day week. It's a it's a, a story that everybody should know. But why would the Cardinals trade Stephen Piscotty away to the A's? And the answer is that Stephen Piscotty's mom, living in the Bay Area, had just been diagnosed with ALS. And so he wanted to be closer to his mom to care for her and still play baseball, continue his career best he can. So for at least the 81 games at home and the games and the days off surrounding it, he'd be there for his mother. And um, Piscotty's mother passed away two days ago, succumbed to ALS less than a year from her diagnosis. I mean, what a scourge of a disease ALS is. Many of us know somebody with it. Obviously, Steve Gleason has been living with ALS, thank goodness, longer than a lot of people thought that he could. Steve Gleason, we all know, is the guy who blocked the punt in the first game back for the Saints. In the Superdome, there is a statue in front of the Superdome that will be there forever, uh, commemorating that moment for Steve Gleason. But Stephen Piscotti was able to have his mother watch these games in Oakland because he was playing at home. And so he was caring for his mom, and she finally passed away and succumbed to this awful disease. And last night he got back on the diamond. After the baseball community uh, rallied around him, the A's donating $50,000 to the caregiver of his mother, the place where her, his mother was in hospice and was being cared for, both uh, Hugh Darvish and John Lester donating funds to ALS research to get eradicate this awful disease. But the, the video last night, we're going to show it, the radio audience, uh, TV uh, audience will see it. Piscotti gets to the plate, and then there's this, a nice warm ovation for him in Oakland, and Piscotti steps out of the batter's box, but the home plate umpire then steps out to clean off home plate in front, and the pitcher on the mound strolls off the mound. So the ovation can get louder and louder and louder, and Piscotti, his eyes water up, and he touches his heart, he points to the sky. And then he gets in and gets a base hit in his first at-bat back after his mother's passing. It's why we love sports. It's why we love baseball, too. Again, just that, that, you know, seek out the video. You'll see it. And where the umpire, while the ovation is building, steps out in front. It's really neat how he does that. And then Piscotti somehow collects himself. To get and, base hit. and it's an opposite field base hit to get on base. I'm not even going to tell you the final score, but good, good on Lance McCullers Jr. as well. He steps off the mound. You know, and obviously for all of us out there, we're getting set to celebrate Mother's Day this week with our moms, whether we're with them or not, or obviously if you are you don't have your mom around anymore, you can... Um, throw your arm around Stephen Piscotti's story and and take solace in the fact that uh, moms are always with us. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.